Yo, what's good YouTube? It's Christian. I'm back again with another reaction video. You guys really seem to fuck with the last video I made of um, the 17 year old that got killed by the cartel. So we're gonna keep doing these kinds of videos because honestly, I enjoy learning about this stuff. I enjoy like gory stuff. I enjoy watching like just, just stuff about the cartel, you feel me? So today we got the, the brutal demise of El Cholo, which is uh, the death of El Cholo. And this was like a big thing that happened happened i don't really know the story or i don't remember it at least i don't know if you guys do it was made by a channel called disturbed reality if you guys want to check out the original video i'm gonna leave it down below in the description so shout out to bro go show him some love um but yeah let's just see what the fuck is going on because honestly i have no idea what this is about but the last one was pretty crazy and you guys know the cartel it, insane so let's check it out it, it, this video is only like 480p too i don't know why but this is the only thing it like let me download on 480p welcome back to disturbed reality the notorious four letters CJN. There we go Short with these people, bro. Nueva, this spread fear and terror upon an utter mention. This same cartel is the one that killed the 17 year old YouTuber in my last video, which is crazy. This is how deadly they are. A cartel so brutal, they've been compared to guerrilla combatants and Damn. terrorists since their creation in 2010. Following the fracture of the old Millennio Cartel, CJNG have grown rapidly and have taken over large parts of the Mexican drug trade, leaving the trade this is crazy, bro. and body parts in their wake. Where nah. AKs you see that guy in the... Bro, you know the scary part about things? Is like, they'll come up to you or they'll be dressed in the masks and shit. Like, that guy was dressed in a... In, a clown makeup and a sombrero on like imagine imagine the, a, that guy with the ak and shit just like driving by you and you're like what the fuck is going on is that as like the purge ars rpgs or just a good old-fashioned look like what their strategy is purely hyper violence many such examples can be seen online like to broadcast their heinous killings as a warning to others you cross us you die and die horribly. That's Needless just to say, CJNG boss Nemesio Ofeguera Cervantes, aka El Mencho, rules with there we go. Fist. There we go, again, bro. Here he is. That nobody in the organization would dare double cross the boss. However, this isn't the case. In spite of the brutality of CJNG and the consequences of betrayal, Carlos Enrique Sanchez, aka El Cholo, with the dreams of money, power and influence, left the organization in late 2017 to early 2018. Despite being an early member of the CJNG organization, he was a high level lieutenant within the cartel. To be precise- See, my whole thing is like, how do you like, start a cartel or like, how, like, how did bro become the leader of the cartel? Did he start it or did he, like, climb up the ranks? Because I know there's ranks, obviously. They just said that this El Cholo guy was, the like, a lieutenant and all this stuff. So he, I don't know how high, like, he's pretty high up there, you feel me? And he decided to leave because he wanted more power and he wanted more money. He left the criminal group with another CJNG member by the name of Eric Valencia Salazar, a.k.a. L85. L85. A man with personal connections to Nemesio Oseguera Cervantes. In fact, he worked with El Mencho in the days of the Millennio Cartel. They went back a long way. While still working for CJNG, Eric Valencia Salazar was arrested by Mexican forces in March of 2012. Subsequently, he spent five years behind bars before his release. It was actually a federal judge who absolved him due to violations in his due process and that there was insufficient evidence against him. Upon being released from prison, many experts in the narco world he got released? expected him to once again work for CJNG, though this wasn't the case. After his release from prison, L85 contacted Carlos Enrique Sanchez, aka El, El Cholo, a high-ranking member of the CJNG to start a campaign against El Mencho and break away. That's where they fucked up, right there. Trying to go against El Mencho. Literally, right right when the, the thought crossed their head about uh, going against El Mencho and starting a campaign and all that, boom. 
instant, instantly, like, that's Dez right there. Literally. The cartel, known as the Nueva Plaza Cartel, based in Jalisco, with El Cholo serving as the reported leader. By 2019, Carlos Enrique Sanchez and Eric Valencia Salazar had completely turned against CJMG. In fact, they were even aiding the Sinaloa cartel in fighting the CJMG. The new organization were proving to be a thorn in El Mencho's side in the state of Jalisco. El Cholo continuously poked for Hornet's nest. In fact, he even murdered a CJMG financier, which resulted in El Mencho sending a hit squad to take care of El Cholo. However, the hit failed and the Nueva cartel successfully retaliated by murdering the leader nah. of the CJNG hit squad. Bro, this is literally like a whole, like it's literally a whole war going on inside Mexico within our, all these cartels and stuff. Like this is like a, some video game type shit, like, re like real talk. It feels like it's a video game, and but it's real life for them. They go through this shit all the time. It's crazy to think about. It's crazy to think about how good we have it over here. You feel me? Like it's just it's not everywhere is like that, especially Mexico. But we don't ever think about that until you see shit like this, and you're like, wow. I'm kind of kind of glad that uh, we don't got none of that really going on over here. The war between the two factions has seen a rise in violence in the city of Guadalajara over the past few years as the two groups, along with others, compete for control for the methamphetamine industry in the city. Aside from a growing alliance with the Sinaloa cartel, it's believed that El Cholo managed to successfully get top police officers on his payroll for protection. Despite his organization being vastly outmatched by CJNG in terms of resources, manpower and wealth, they were having great success though El Cholo was playing a dangerous game. Hell he yeah, was. To lose. What the fuck? On March the 18th, 2021, a video was released online nah. depicting El Cholo captured and surrounded by heavily armed CJNG Sicarios. The video is essentially a brief confession from El Cholo where he states that he is supported by high-ranking police chief Omar Garcia Harfu. Nah. Let's take a listen. Mi nombre es Carlos Enrique Sánchez Martínez, alias de Cholo, originario de Guadalajara, Jalisco. Mi nombre es esta situación por ser contra del sitio de aquí. Eh, me encontré en el Distrito Federal con Omar García Jarfus. You know what's crazy too is like they're all right there like this is this is like some shit you see in a movie where They'll the person gets kidnapped and then they make them say all this shit But the thing is like this isn't a movie. They're really gonna kill him after that like they're really like I don't know if he thinks he's gonna get away, but he's not like well, This shit is so mind-blowing to me. We live in a whole nother world than these people their world is war. Literally, their whole world is war to them. He sounds like calm too, though. That's the thing. Like. Do you not feel any emotion when you're in the cartel and shit? This is the last known footage of El Cholo before his brutal demise. Look at his face. The video bro. translation is as follows. My name is Carlos Enrique Sanchez Martinez, aka El Cholo. I am originally from Guadalajara, Jalisco. I'm here because I'm an enemy of CJNG. 
I met with Omar Garcia Harfouk in the federal district so that he could give me his backing. This is due to us both being after the CJNG, and he did give me his full support, but he told me that he needed something relevant in return so that I could operate with his support and his people among this city. And so, I kicked everything off. All of the crimes that took place in the local area, I am personally responsible for. What and did I they do to bro to make him say all this shit? Like, why didn't he just accept death? Because no matter what, the thing is, like, he's gonna die. So why come out and say all that stuff? Myself called the authorities so that they would turn everything into a heightened police matter. The individuals who sponsor support here in the city are Mario Alberto, aka L03, my boy busted a 69, aka L02. Anyways, I'm the person responsible for that grenade thrown some time ago at the American consulate. This was done to generate panic within the city. I also gave El Marino the orders to kill the 11 Masons in Tanala. All the chaotic crimes that took place were done on my orders, but I did this on the condition that Omar Garcia Harfuk would support me in everything. He is a criminalistic individual. Damn. You guys, the few or many that are still left supporting this is me, crazy. it's best for your own good to just start taking care of your families so that you don't end up like me. The last part of that statement is pretty chilling, if you ask me. Shortly after this, El Cholo would be brutally murdered by CJNG Sicario. Did they have like a video of that? wasn't given a quick death. Shortly after nah, the interrogation they video him? was released, a body was found in Guadalajara. The body was tightly wrapped in black plastic, with notes stabbed into the body. One of the notes simply read, El Cholo the traitor. Although this nah. was revenge against El Cholo, it was also a public statement That's not to mess crazy. with CJNG. It's believed that the body was dropped off during the daytime. The corpse was soon taken for autopsy, which is where the signs of torture became apparent. He wasn't given a quick death. It's believed that he was subjugated to hours of savagery. Seven oh, of his toes that, were broken bro. and one toe was cut off. He suffered numerous broken ribs and to immobilize him, both of his legs were basically destroyed. So in both legs, they broke his tibia, patella, and femur. He also had various knife lacerations. And most disturbingly, all while he was alive, his eyes were gouged out. Nah, bro, don't fuck with the cartel, bro. Why do people think they're gonna overpower the cartel? It literally makes no sense to me. Like, what goes through your head when you're like, alright, like, yeah, I'm gonna fucking take over this guy and these people. Like, no, bro, you're not going to. Like, look at all these people that have tried. It's not gonna work. I don't, fuck. You're, like, you're going through and all that torture, bro. Out, you're I still alive. Out. The autopsy like, revealed that his tongue wasn't cut out. It was somehow pulled out with a heavy pressure object. So essentially, they clamped his tongue with some sort of object, and they just pulled it out. I can't even imagine oh, that. He was also subjugated no. to high voltage electrocution, oh, and it's believed he was finally killed with three gunshots to the head. In fact, you can indeed find El Cholo's autopsy pictures online. There are some unconfirmed rumors that the torture and murder of El Cholo was captured on camera. However, no such footage exists online, and quite frankly, I believe it to be an urban legend. Although, that I am surprised that CJNG crazy. didn't record this, given who El Cholo was and what he did. They filmed the interrogation, they left his body in a public place, but for whatever reason, they didn't record the torture and execution. It does seem strange, but at the end of the day, these cartels operate in a world of their own. Despite the death of El Cholo, the Nueva Plaza cartel continue to operate in Jalisco, though leader Eric Valencia they just need to Salazar give up. is now handling the cartel with a lower profile. In fact, as of right now, his whereabouts is unknown. It seems that he's stuck between a rock and a hard place. Not only is he wanted by Mexican authorities, but more crucially, 
El Mencho wants his head. Alright. So we shall see. Aren't how. every, like, isn't every, like, cartel boss or, like, member wanted from the, by the police? Like, there's no way they're not, right? Unless they're working Such. with them. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the content. This is if crazy. If you can enjoy this sort of content. <laughs> that, that was insane, bro. Like, shout out to Disturb Reality. Like I said, I'm gonna leave the link to the original video down below. So if you guys want to go check out his channel, check out more of his videos, it's gonna be right there. But fuck, like, stop. Stop with the cartel, bro. You don't gotta mess with them. Like, you can live a peaceful life. You don't gotta get into that. But obviously, some people think differently. And I don't know what to tell them. But that was crazy. If you guys enjoy these videos, make sure to just comment down below if you guys wanna see more of it. Um, comment, just comment down below what you guys want me to react to next. Subscribe if you're new. Like this video if you enjoyed, and I'm out. Sorry, God, I got a ghost. Yeah, you know this ain't the old